Hello everybody. Uh, today I made this uh, video to show you guys uh, a new solar heater that I uh, built um, a few weeks back. And a few things are different about this one than ones you normally see uh, like outside a person's house. Uh, this one, I actually made it to fit inside a window uh, inside, you know, inside your house. So one thing I got to skip was all the uh, insulation that we normally put in there. And um, basically, uh, this glass I got for free. I did have to buy the 2x4, uh, but the 2x4 cost is 244 for, I think, an 8-foot piece. And I uh, used two pieces of a downspout that I had laying around. And what I did with inside the downspot, I actually took a bunch of uh, aluminum cans, uh, cut the bottoms out, cut the tops out, and just uh, crammed them in there. I didn't glue them or you know attach them anyway. I just stuck them inside there so it would have you know extra like heat to you know absorb heat and stuff. So I used the uh, two downspouts, a two by four uh, piece of glass, and let me show you the the back here. So the back is basically, angle that, there we go. Uh, the back is just a leftover piece of plywood that I had. And I used these vents here, because uh, this actually sits in our uh, bathroom. We only have two rooms basically in the house that have um, a full sun during the day. And the bathroom just happens to be one of them. And uh, this is a pretty small. But it actually, if you shut the fan off, it'll still hit 130 degrees on the inside. And that's through, you know, the, the normal window, you know, a little bit of space, and then an observer's inside the box. So, And the reason why I have these on there is because they, they hang like that and block the hole uh, where the, the fan sits. So you can't obviously see in the bathroom. You know, obviously that's important. Uh, so the reason why I built this one, I wanted to see how well, you know, basically making a box that wasn't insulated uh, would heat up. Because, uh, you know, the normal ones are great for people that have houses, but a uh, one that fits in your window would be better for, you know, an apartment, a condo, uh, people that have like a real strict homeowners association, uh, stuff like that, you know, even uh, dorms or whatnot. So, and this guy, even though it's only, I'm not sure, that's, I don't know, maybe a foot or so. Anyway, this only takes up a quarter of the window. So it's, you still get a lot of the natural sunlight in, so it's not blocking the whole window. It's not blocking a lot of your natural light, because we have, you know, a few plants in there and stuff, and, you know, they need their light too, so. Uh, but this thing uh, seems to work really great. And the fan that I used, which I'm not sure if you can, how well you can see that, there's the, the fan, hopefully you guys can see that. I took, um, I had a motor that I used for my solar pump during the summer, the first one that I used, and then the propeller broke off. Well, I ripped the whole thing apart, and I had a, a decent sized motor in there, and the, uh, you know, the solar cells here. So what I did, I just uh, took the motor, uh, took some blades off another fan that didn't work and just glued them together. So it seems to work really well. And uh, what I'm going to do is, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you um, how it's working and then I'll show you a few pictures of uh, how I kind of put it together. But it was real simple. And if anyone is interested in seeing me make one of these, which it is really simple, I can easily make a video and show you guys how to make one. It's, it's real simple, but there are a lot of videos already out there. That's why I didn't bother on this one. But if anyone asks, I'd be more than happy to, to do that for you guys. So I went ahead and just uh, set this back in the window. And it, it literally just sits in there and uh, it's not attached anyway. So uh, one good thing I like about that, you can put it in in the fall time, uh, have it you know run all fall, winter, and springtime you can just go ahead you know, just grab it, take it out, and sit in the closet so it doesn't take up any, you know, much space or anything. So I, uh, I've had it sitting here and I went ahead and shut off the fan just to show you guys 
what it what it's at right now. And right now it's at uh, 136 degrees, which is not bad for how small this little guy is. And uh, when I turn on the fan and, and get it run, usually the the air coming out of it is usually around the 80s or set or excuse me, the 80s or 90s. So it's a uh, pretty good uh, for uh, kicking out heat for this little tiny side. And uh, I usually just take the solar solar cells and just you know, sit it against the window there, and it automatically you know just turns on. And actually the heat. Uh, keeps on climbing on it, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but on an intermittent day where you know you have a lot of clouds and you know scattered sun, this usually is right around 120 degrees at the fan off. Okay, so here is the, the input, and that is the little um, solar fan that I uh, had taken out of a solar pump for the solar water fountain last year that the propeller broke off of. And basically, I just take the solar cells here, set them in the window, and I'll show you. Works pretty well for what it is, just a little tiny motor, but works really well. And as I said, I use these to uh, cover up the holes so you can't see inside there, but they're so big where it doesn't uh, obstruct the airflow. Okay, so here is the outside view of the solar window heater, and you can tell it only takes up well, just under a quarter of the uh, you know window space there, so you still get a ton of natural you know, light for our, our plants and stuff. And uh, I did want to mention that uh, since we put it in there, the average room temperature is right around I think 72 or 73, you know, uh, pretty comfortable, and it, it works great for just being so small and not being insulated and uh, being so cheap to make. So. Okay. I appreciate you watching the video. Take care as always. God bless.